Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we the can't... keys, they... They have to be in the house. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Everyone, just keep your distance. What? Why? It's Clarissa. Yes, dear. Why? I'm as harmless as a June bug. Because you could be a ghost right now? That's why. Christ, I think you've been possessed more than you've been you at this point. Well, wait. Wait a minute. Don't we, like, get red eyes or something when we get possessed? Yeah. Yes, we do. We get red eyes. Thank you, Reginald. We don't exactly know the rules, guys. Something something could have changed, might have switched, or... Rules? What are you... This isn't soccer. I'm not on the orange team. Nobody is possessed right now. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping, by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or... A diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Oh, that's an attic? I thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. 
Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Uh. Put some clothes on! <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? You kids better get- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Hey, Nona. Hey. Wanna, I don't know, maybe help us look for, like, the way to get out of here? Honestly, Alex, I feel like such absolute ass right now that I don't know how much help I'd be. And you seem to always have things under control. No, I, uh, I get it. It's all right. Rest up. Clarissa? Your Highness? For the 800th time, and I don't even know why I feel like I have to keep selling you on this, but here it goes again. Michael wasn't my fault. <sighs> as long as you believe it, I guess. Okazuje się nareszcie skąd pochodzi kwas w relacji Clarice z Alex. Sprawa z Michaelem wychodzi wyjątkowo często, więc nie dziwi chyba nikogo taki stan rzeczy. Oprócz tego chciałbym zwrócić uwagę na wizję, gdzie Clarissa oskarżała Alex o poniekąd bycie powodem, dla którego Michael nie żyje. W tej scenie bardzo chciałem pochwalić aktorkę grającą Alex, ponieważ sam miałem ciary, kiedy akurat usłyszałem po raz pierwszy ten dialog. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, it's known as birthday in three days. Really? Awesome. Yeah, that that's great. That's great. I can um I can really use that. I feel like it's like I'm behind enemy lines with that one. Okay, don't be like a predator now. Just you know, it's information that I hope you categorize wisely. Got it. Definitely. Categorically wisened. Thanks. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these? S slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Uprzedzam przy okazji, że w lokacji, czyli w domu pani Adler, mogą się pojawić gdzie niegdzie cięcia, gdyż wątek sam nie jest zbyt krótki, a chciałem jakoś skondensować materiały, w których nic się nie dzieje, bądź nie wiem, zabłądziłem ewentualnie, czy poszedłem przypadkowo złą ścieżką, albo odbiłem we fragment lokacji, który do niczego nie prowadzi. Sama zaś jednak lokacja wydaje się wystarczająco ładnie namalowana, by można było ją przez chwilę poobserwować. Mi przy okazji akurat taki domek by się przydał, szczerze mówiąc. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Twenty-nine, eighteen, fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and... Like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? She must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess that's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that. Popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. I'm not... I'm not listening to this, all right? I'm not playing along anymore. Oh, just come down, and we'll drink to our future. <laughs> come down, okay? Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy.
Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Jonas, don't... don't just sit there. We're in a time-shift loop thing. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just... stop whatever this is, can't you? Just... just fix my friends. Please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see on the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's apple pie. And what if I... what if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not... spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Uh, is it the, the... this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you'll really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well... This has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem. Gracious. We're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know. To wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please just don't do this. We're... we're it's not... It's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but... We have not felt anything for a very long time. And we'll do whatever is necessary. With our muscle attached on the rocks, we have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed.
Tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> Go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. God. Well, I mean, we're in trouble only if you don't like getting your soul consumed by a hundred year old submarine crew. Okay. So. I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected, or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh... We could, I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so... I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you can just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? It's all I can think of at the moment, all right? Maybe it, I don't know, maybe it works like a door and we can somehow figure out how to, you know, close it. Good grief. Look, if Clarissa's in the cave, then we'll have to go there anyway, so we'll put a, a, a pin in it. Well, if we're going to the cave, Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know. There are a whole bunch of secret communist bombs. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... Oh, it's oh. sweet. They're learning. Boo! S okay, all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or... Whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Maybe... <sighs> I don't know, maybe she was wrong and it didn't work. Maybe she tried and it didn't work. Well, something better work or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned, precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it like sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are Team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are Awesome Squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives, or whatever. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Well... Now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Alex, Alex, 
Thanks. Okay. Are you... Are you back to normal? Look, I think... I'm sorry, but... I think Ren might be in trouble. Why? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because... I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay. Just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. I guess I'd been convincing myself I was immune because of my generally happy demeanor. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider than. Yeah, uh, let's get this over with. Dobra, czas na odrobinę podsumowania. Zbliżamy się do momentu, w którym wszystko zatacza koło. Bohaterowie chcą rozwiązać problem u samego źródła, poprzez powrót do jaskini, w której to wszystko się zaczęło. Otrzymaliśmy również potwierdzenie o tym, że pani Adler wiedziała, czym są duchy i przede wszystkim przy akurat eksperymentach z nimi niestety straciła swoją przyjaciółkę Annę. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kenaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This is the... Jedyne czego nie jestem pewien to czy słuchanie przewodnika radiowego tu przy, tuż przy drzwiach schronu załączyło dialog Nony na ten właśnie temat. Jeżeli tak było to kudos dla twórców zadbało o szczegóły, bo gmerania przy kodzie pewnie było mnóstwo. Trzeba również brać pod uwagę, że ten dialog nie musiał się wcale odbywać z Noną, ponieważ możliwe tam było wybranie z którą akurat osobą Alex chce przejść i czy w ogóle chce przechodzić wokół akurat samego schronu atomowego czy nie. Widać więc, że możliwości zaplątania tutaj było naprawdę wiele. Z tego co mi się kojarzy, to również nie był to pierwszy moment, w którym taka sytuacja się zdarzyła, lecz nie jestem teraz w stanie wskazać, gdzie dokładnie to było. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. Oh, true. I think this... Um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. O ile trzeba przyznać tutaj trochę racji Jonasowi, to nie kupuję za bardzo historii duchów, gdyż o ile nasza historia bohaterów nie przedstawia się w zbyt jaskrawych barwach, to skoro oni mają tak mało poszanowania dla życia tych wszystkich dzieciaczków, to czemu po prostu ostrzegają ich o tej sytuacji? Po co te wszystkie testy, jak wpłyną później na ich sytuację? Gdyby byli wystarczająco silni i wiedzieli co zrobić, no to czekać, a co się będzie dziać, albo po prostu sprawę zakończyć. Takie jest lekkie odczucie, że czegoś im chyba jeszcze tutaj brakuje i że prawdopodobnie będą się jeszcze zwracać do Alex, jeżeli chodzi o samą historię. A jeszcze przy okazji, bo chyba potem nie będzie okazji o tym powiedzieć, w lustrze tym razem wyświetliła się nazwa Scotty 875, więc już mamy prawdopodobnie nakreślony mniej więcej tor, w jakim to akurat te nawiązania czy akurat te nazwy będą się toczyć, prawda? Już można się, że tak powiem, tego domyśleć. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Ah. 
Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> oh, not this again. We're in another time maze thing. Ugh, oh, okay. We were due. It's been like a minute. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren's... he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... Nona, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex! I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And... Alex, Ren, whatever you want to call it, I know you're doing it. Just fix it! It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to, but the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you... A proposition? Like what? It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only... No, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? I don't care. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't to provide you all the rules. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all... Trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing.
the station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they...? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Oh Anybody? God, it's like listening to Jonas? two mentally enfeebled babies Jonas? talking over from Punch the home zoo crew. Yeah, the old-timey speaker system isn't Seriously, exactly doing right anyone favors. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery beacon hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it! Time's a wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? Was identified. Yeah, uh, when I the almost would be kind of slipped and fell off and the bridge. If the signal oh was God, found to be guys, accurate, that would trigger no, automatic it safety it. measures it and evacuation of non-personnel. Like, almost the doesn't work to strike terror to help that far. Any Watch enemy me come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. Right. radio locked. I keep forgetting this thing is it was like that. It was high. Okay, I just have to tune it. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it... Ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, just... Hello. We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house, they've shaved all my cats, they look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Can everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. All right, Mr. No Fun. No Fun? What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and now. Wbrew pozorom otwarcie schronu nie było jakoś szczególnie dla bohaterów trudne. Mapa sugeruje, że najwyższy czas na zamknięcie pętli czasowej i uratowanie wszystkich, choć zamknięcie pętli czasowej w fikcji jakoś nigdy nie przychodzi łatwo. Niepokoi tutaj jedna rzecz. Demony, komentując to, co zamierza zrobić Alex, wspomniały o tym, że ich plan nie powiedzie się, a dokładnie wspomniały, że ich plan nigdy się nie powodzi. Może miały na myśli to akurat, co zrobiła Maggie Adler wraz właśnie ze swoją przyjaciółką, co oczywiście skończyło się dość tragicznie i faktycznie ich plan się nie powiódł, ale gdyby mieli na myśli tylko ten jeden jakby raz, to czy wspomnieliby o tym, że ostatnim razem się nie udało, coś takiego? Dokładnie mówili, że nigdy się to nie powodzi. Czy to sugeruje w takim razie, że ta sytuacja zdarzyła już się więcej niż jeden raz? Jakby to wszystko miało się już starzyć wielokrotnie wcześniej? Może ta pędla czasowa jakoś idzie dalej niż my się zastanawiamy? Cóż, trzeba będzie to zobaczyć oczywiście. Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Jonas! Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Aw, oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, alright, that's all, nothing to see here. 
And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. 